Hello one viewer who may not even be watching. Uh, so you're probably aware that DJI released a new update for the Fly app recently. In fact they released several versions of the app but uh, we won't get into that right now. Uh, one of the features in the app was the ability to live stream uh, the drone's footage to an RTMP address. Now, Facebook uses RTMPS, which is a more secure protocol, but YouTube continues to use RTMP, which means live streaming direct from your Mini 2 is achievable. Now, why live stream at all? Well, you might be witnessing a beautiful sunset over a beautiful city, and you're able to film it at an angle that you wouldn't be able to see, you know, any other way without a drone. And you want to share it with your subscribers. Uh, some of your subscribers might be uh, in a different country on a you know different time zone. Though they'll be having their breakfast, and up you pop, saying, "Look at this! This is what I'm seeing right in this moment." So it's just you know pretty cool. Or you could be flying across a field, and you suddenly spot an alligator fighting a pig. You know, live events are just awesome sometimes. Now. The YouTube mobile app already gives you the ability to live stream just by the click of a button. So, the pros. There's no real setup needed. It's just a click and you're pretty much away. Um, two, you can see how many people are watching your feed and you can read their comments and questions if they post any. Um, and of course, you can use your micro microphone on your on your device to you know speak to the viewers. On to the cons. It's pretty much just a desktop sharing app. So what you see on your phone is exactly what the viewers will be seeing on your phone. So all your flight information, your picture settings. Um, if you check a notification, if you get a text message, you know everything that you see, they will see. So that's a bit of a downside. Um, the second one is it only streams in 720p. You know, not the end of the world, but it's still a limitation. But the biggest con is you cannot use that feature unless you have over a thousand subscribers. Which for somebody like me, you know, I, I just can't use it. I can't stream. So... We've spoken about the YouTube app, so why would you stream using the DJI Fly app option? Okay, pros. Uh, you do have to enter the RTMP address and your personal stream code, but once you've done that once, it is saved and it is there for next time. Um, two, it's pretty much best seat in the house. You know, the viewers just see what the drone sees. So none of the information on your phone, it is just video footage of the drone. Um, and again, you can use your microphone to communicate to the viewers watching. Um, it also streams in 1080p, so better quality. And you don't need a thousand plus subs. So that's brilliant for the likes of me. Now, the con. Um... Unless you want to take a laptop or a second mobile device with you everywhere, you unfortunately won't be able to see if anyone's watching. Because on your phone, you'll just have the DJI Fly app running. Um, yes, you'll be streaming, but you, there's no way of like quickly checking YouTube to see if you've got any comments or questions. I have tried flicking between the DJI Fly app and the YouTube app and what that happen, what happens is the camera footage just goes black uh, and obviously that's what the view would be seeing as well. So that's a bit of a, a bit of a no no. Um, so the workaround. Um, there are a few things to set up um, in order to get this. Um, up and running and I apologize I've only tested this on a Samsung phone running Android similar steps may work on an iPhone but I'm just not sure I don't have um, access to a phone an Apple phone so let's get to it so you don't need the YouTube app or the studio for this but if you have them a couple of things you need to change if you go into settings and apps then search for YouTube then go to set as default. Go to supported URLs and change it to open in other app. 
You need to do this for both YouTube and the YouTube Studio app. Uh, the second requirement is the Chrome browser. This is, as far as I know, the only browser that supports streaming. So once that's installed, then you need to switch to the desktop site view using the three dots at the top. Then search for YouTube and sign in. Okay, now open the live stream menu by selecting the little camera icon at the top. Uh, the next bit is important. You need to hold your finger down on the go live option. And this will bring up a menu, as you see on screen. And what you need to select is open a new tab in group. So the top selection. This gives you a new little icon at the bottom. If you switch to this, you will go into the studio view. You can ignore that warning, it will go away. Okay, and this may look very familiar now. So this is all your streaming options. Uh, you have the ability to edit, you know, change the title, description, thumbnail, all that kind of stuff. Um, the most important part of the information on here that you need is, of course, the streaming um, address and the sh and the code stream code, so you need to copy those over into the DJI Fly app. So, before you leave the screen, if you now jump to the comments area, if you hit the three little dots at the top and select pop out chat. And here I've just selected the Samsung browser. So the pop, the chat, or the comment section is now in its own browser. I've saved this to my favorites um, just so I can access this in the future quicker. So if you now go to your app selector on my phone, it's the very bottom left icon. So with this view, if you hold down uh, the icon at the top of the application and select pop out view, it will create a minimized kind of uh, web browser which you can resize by dragging the corners inside uh, if you select the center it will get rid of the top and bottom headers and footers you can resize the text from the options menu i have mine set at 200 you can obviously move the box wherever you like and if you use the little box icon at the top with the two arrows facing each other, it will minimize itself down to an icon where you can place anywhere on your desktop or your phone screen that you wish to. Let's move to the DJI Fly App. Okay, so here we are with the uh, Fly App. I am live. Um, in a moment, you will see that there'll be a one second counter on screen because I have um, kept my streaming details private. Okay, I'm live. You can see at the top the icon is orange. I've waved my hand. I'm live. Let's switch to Jeff. So Jeff is a YouTube viewer. He can see my live stream on YouTube um, without any of the UI mess you know he's just seeing what the drone is seeing but he is also able to comment and here he is posting a comment so let's switch back to me still live at this point and any moment now you'll see jeff's pop uh, comment pop up so I can interact with him using the mic. I can also type, but in this instance, I won't. The drone's inside today because it's raining outside, but you get the general idea. Okay, now we go back to Jeff. He's been watching for a few moments. He's posted several comments. Back to me. I can see several of his comments, I can check 
every two minutes if I want. I can close, I can minimize the window. I can open it up every so often just to see if there's any new comments or questions. Again, thanks for watching. Um, it is a workaround, but hopefully a, a beneficial one to uh, a lot of you out there. So take care.